Hey, what's up everyone out there? I wanted to give you guys a long-term review of the Euro Live 215D. This is a 550 watt two-way speaker system. It has Class D amplification, a 15-inch woofer here, and a tweeter here. Um, it's ported, and don't let these ports fool you. Um, the base you get out of this system isn't anything earth shattering i'll put it that way um as a matter of fact i'll just be blunt with you if you're going to use these speakers you're going to need a subwoofer there's no other way to put it um <clears throat> to me I, I haven't tested this but it sounds like the bass rolls off somewhere around 110 hertz and i mean this is even with with the 15 inch um, the sound dispersion isn't all that wide. Um, I mean, you don't have to be directly in front of it, but compared to other other live sound speakers I've heard, um, you almost nearly have to be right in front of it. Otherwise, if you're not directly in front of it, um, the sound kind of dissipates. The The further away you move from the front of the speaker, the, the, the more the sound diminishes. So, uh, and in terms of that, this speaker do doesn't sound so great when it comes to spreading the sound out now uh a lot of people in my local area have used these and they've blown them i'm very careful with how i control my sound so i mean for me i typically take my levels halfway or to about 75 percent and then run it from there i try to make sure i don't i don't i don't uh clip them but i've heard of the woofer going out and i've heard heard of tons of people blowing them I haven't done that yet. Hopefully, I don't. But uh, here, here's how the back looks and the inputs. You get a quarter inch, you get a XLR, and you get a link output that goes to the subwoofer or to another speaker. You get your level control. You get your high and low for your equalizer, and the power light turns on when you turn it on. You get a on-off switch, which is um pretty reliable, pretty basic, and you get a three prong wall wart connection i don't can't remember how much this weighs i would say it's roughly close to about somewhere in between 30 and 40 pounds so it's relatively light to carry the um handles are extremely sturdy and they're close to the front so you can carry this with one hand if you're strong enough i would recommend having help if you aren't but uh if you're strong enough, you can carry this with one hand. It also has a pole mount underneath, and I'll flip this over and show that to you real quick. Oh, before I show you that, there is a handle to tighten, tighten, well, a screw to tighten it once it's on the pole mount. So there goes the pole mount right there see it has three feet and it also can be used as a wedge so you pick whatever size you want and you see these little these little uh where this extends from the cabinet keeps it steady and it's on both sides you have them there and you have them there so i'll roll it over real quick and that's how it looks as a wedge it's not extremely uh kind of rocks a little bit when it's set up as a wedge but if you're not too concerned with people bumping into it you shouldn't worry about it rolling over and rolling on to the cables euro live 215d i was i would recommend these for an entry level dj to mid-level even you know someone who's extremely established if you want to have a lower end setup Nobody, you know, everybody does their business differently. So, you know, you might have a basic setup for a certain price and then another setup for one price and then a higher end setup for a different price. So, you know, if you want to use this for a low end setup, that would be fine. Um, if you want to use this for a corporate event, just setting up the speaker, just to project the sound of, of a speaker at an event, it's fine for that. It's fine for DJing. Um, if you're going to do a larger venue or a medium to larger venue, you will need a subwoofer. Larger venue, I, I don't know if I would go with this because uh, the sound dispersion isn't all that great. So that's the Eurolife 215D. I would say for the price, I would definitely recommend it. 
And in terms of ratings, I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10. Um, basically because of the price. And, and for me, I, I would say a 7 out of 10 is great. But the reason I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 is you don't really get a, a good mixer built into this system where you can plug in other inputs. Um, the bass isn't great and the sound dispersion isn't great. So that's why I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. But for the price... Is well worth it. So that's the Euro Live 215D. Peace.